All right, time for dessert. We start out with our vanilla ice cream, and but what we have to do first is make our little chocolate container, I guess you could say. What I have here is a strip. I don't know if you can really see this or not, but it's a strip of uh, clear plastic that's bendable. And we're actually going to create a design on top of this, pull it together, let it, let it dry and cool, and then we'll fill it with ice cream, pull this uh, uh, clear plastic off, and we're going to have a nice little container with ice cream in it. So let's get started here. I've got some saran wrap or this plastic wrap on top of the uh, uh, cutting board so we don't make a mess. And this is a squeeze bottle, obviously, with what these are basically called candy melts. It's not true chocolate, but you don't have to temper chocolate. You don't have to go through all the stuff that you usually have to do with regular chocolate. Put it in this squeeze bottle and put it in the microwave, follow the instructions. It's like 45 seconds and you squeeze it to get it melted 45 seconds again. And then all of a sudden it's, it's nice and hot, melted. And of course, now, there it is right there. I gotta find my, my piece of plastic. And we're gonna basically come across here and just go back and forth, just like this. And then we're going to crisscross. Well, this didn't melt good enough. Let's see here. There we are. Oops, not playing. It looks like a mess right now, but it'll all come together here in a second. Come back on this end. And do the same thing, just a repeating pattern. And then one more across long ways. So it looks like a nice piece of lattice. Now, and let this set for a second. We'll leave that right there. And we're going to start on the base of our ice cream, which is one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. We have one and a half cups of half and half, and two thirds cup of sugar. And that's basically it. We don't have any eggs. This is a, an eggless ice cream, as they call it. What we need to do is now not vigorously whisk this because we don't want to turn it into uh, basically true whipping cream but we want to incorporate the sugar into it so it's all dissolved so just slowly back and forth and you can feel it when the, uh, when the sugar is basically incorporated into it and believe it or not we can take a little bit of salt just a dash of salt and that, that just for some odd reason brings everything together It's uh, it's it's not too bad. That'll that'll work for us. Now we've got ice cream maker right here. This is a just it's a very cold base. It's got some type of a liquid uh, inside it. It's kind of like a shell that uh, it's, and it's been frozen for at least 24 hours. This is the mixer. This goes in first, and then this goes on top. Let's see if we make this one. There we go. Turn it on, and then we slowly add our mixture to the ice cream maker while it's running. We can add half of it because we need to add our flavoring, which is going to be a vanilla bean. I get I get my stuff from Penzi Spices. They come from this is actually Madagascar. The thing about Turn this down a little bit. Turn that off for a sec. So we need to get a knife. There we go. And we need to take these seeds or, uh, out of the actual bean itself. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to cut both ends off like this. We're not going to throw these away. And I'll show you what we can do with those in a few minutes. Now we're going to split our vanilla bean all the way down without cutting yourself. Just like this. Take, take your knife, blade of your knife kind of separate it and you pull all of that off right there. Those are the seeds of the vanilla bean. Do it on this side. That. Keep this. I'll show you in a sec. 
Fold this one back over. There it is right there. Man, getting all the good flavors out of this bean. Right. Add this back in. And then mix that in there. And that's the flavor. Now, if you don't have a vanilla bean, you can use a, a I believe it's about a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract, and that'll work the same. But it, it, there's just something about the, the homemade look of the, of the beans and the specks throughout the uh, ice cream. Get that mixed in there. Now, turn it back on. And we're going to slowly add. Some stuff left over, so we're going to get that in there. I'm going to let this run for probably 20, maybe 30, it could be as much as 40 minutes, but when the machine begins to slow down, and, and you'll definitely know when it's done, everything will begin to rise, and uh, it'll, 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 it'll stumble itself, and you'll turn it off, put it in a container. But right now, I tell you what, we're going to turn that off, it's a little loud, because uh, again, through the magic of television, we have some made right here. Now, I mentioned earlier about, about uh, the pieces of this uh, vanilla bean. What I like to do is, is I have a little container here with sugar already in it. And as you notice, there are other pieces of uh, vanilla in there. Basically what you're going to do here is you can cut these up into sections and segments. Add this to your sugar. Shake it up. And what happens is the flavor of the vanilla actually gets into the sugar and you have vanilla sugar. So it's great for coffees cookies, cakes, and believe it or not, I actually use it in the ice cream we just made. Okay, back to our little uh, creation we made here. Now what we, the trick we need to do is actually create a little, whoa, see that, that right there can happen. Just gotta be careful, pick it up. And then our trick is to make some kind of a design here. What I'm gonna try to do is attempt to Pull it together like this. All right, we've got it put together. We've got the shape we like. We need to put it in the freezer, and after it hardens, then we'll be able to plate our dessert up. All right, it's it's been about five minutes in real time, and uh, you know if you, if you do this uh, for a group of people and you need six, seven, eight, twelve, who knows how many, it's good to do these uh, ahead of time instead of doing what we just did. But it's ready, as you can see. We can pick it up and move it. So we're going to pull. Uh huh. Trying to jump out. We've got a cold plate, been in the fridge. We're going to decorate it with some of the chocolate again. Again, we're going to give it the, the same motion back and forth. Something like that doesn't have to be perfect. We'll take our chocolate mold here. Is that the way? Get our ice cream. We're going to fill the mold with the ice cream, and it's soft. We kind of need it a little soft so we can mold it in there. There we are. Push it around, get it in. There we go. Top off. Here. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now at this point, We'd like to put it back in the refrigerator, or the freezer, so it would harden up. And after doing that, what would happen is we could pull the plastic off. And there we are. That is essentially the dish. Now we can come in with, you can either make your own whipped cream if you want, but uh, I went and bought mine. You can add just a little bit on top. And the neat thing about this squeeze bottle is we could get another little piece. Whoa, there it goes. Well, we'll leave that one alone. We could get another little piece of uh, uh, the uh, plastic and create anything we wanted to. And what I did while we were at break is I came in and created a little variety cooking chocolate logo. That essentially is our dessert vanilla ice cream with a little chocolate bowl thingy we made. And we actually have another uh, wine, it's a Zinfandel, that uh, Gambolinian Beverage picked out for me. 
that uh, goes very, very well with, uh, with sweets and uh, chocolate. So we're gonna, again, a little bit of wine in here. Oh man, that does smell good. And there you go, we will finish our dessert off with a little bit of Zinfandel. Thanks for joining us on Variety Cooking. Hope to see you next time for an easy and delicious meal that you can cook at home. I'm David Murray, the Fishing Cook, and uh, check me out on the web at fishingcook.com. Thank you.